All right, guys, so oh, I'm going to start tracking my food tomorrow, but I literally think I just ate like 6,000 calories today, and my abs are, are disappearing, and I f***ing don't feel good, man. I literally just ate like half a Dion's pizza, and then like three hours later, I think I ate like 1,700 calories of candy. So that being said, I'm tracking my food. My stomach fucking hurts. Ugh, peace out. All right guys, so post-competition workout program follows like this. So it's gonna be two days of weightlifting. Then I'm gonna do a day of stretching, um, calisthenics, and kind of cardio. So honestly, what you're seeing in this video is my calisthenic day. Uh, so, the three exercises I'm mainly going to focus on for calisthenics are pull-ups, dips, and push-ups. Um, the first, as you're seeing now, I'm probably doing some pull-ups right now. What I'm really focusing on is slow contractions. So nothing like I'm going to be busting out failure sets. It's just going to be like low reps, really slow negatives, really feeling the muscle, trying to get the glycogen back into the muscle. I'm not really trying to damage my muscle too much. But yeah, so I mean, you probably see my dips right now. Uh, still got some vascular ass forearms, like always, lean ass arms. But then I'll probably be throwing in a variation of dips and push ups and pull ups on my calisthenic days. And I'm just doing this so I don't injure myself because I'm technically not strong right now. I have to build back up my strength. So that's kind of why I'm doing this every three days. All right guys, well you just saw my workout footage for my like post-show workout. So I'm gonna talk to you guys actually about the show. I actually left Albuquerque on Friday morning. Uh, I drove to Phoenix. I got into Phoenix around two, got to the hotel, met my mom and all that stuff. And then I had to go to the meetup and the meetup was at six. So like I literally walked into the Sheraton, got to the second floor, walked around the corner of the hallway and I kid you not, I literally saw the biggest buffest of my life like I'm talking like 225 shredded five like five percent body fat guys there was like over 200 competitors in that room what was your average what was your height measure that five eleven and a half dog oh guys I'm telling you the bodybuilders were huge like NPC ain't no joke so at the meetup I got weighed in weighed in at one at the weigh in, I was 191.1 pounds. And so. Was that the end of the day or the uh, beginning of the day? That's the end of the day. Okay, so probably like 190 morning weight? Yeah, I was about Well, not probably even less because you yeah. would have been carving up all day, right? Exactly. So uh, we went to the freaking room. I applied more Pro Tan. Uh, went to bed, woke up early, probably at like 5 30, applied another layer of Pro Tan. Had to be at the convention center at, uh, I believe it was between 7.30 and 9. The first day, the bodybuilders went first for pre-judging. Which is rare, right? Yeah. Which usually she, it's like bikini. You, which is usually, stuff. usually the women go first, but this time the women went last and the guys went first, which is different, I guess. Huh, so first show, I didn't know. So, so I started carving up a little bit. I started uh, kind of getting a pump. And uh, to be completely honest with you guys, in bodybuilding, I don't even want to talk about it. I was small. I was the only light heavyweight in the whole show. So they actually bumped me up to the heavyweight division. And let me tell you something. Those dudes were 30 pounds heavier and probably 3 to 4% leaner than me. After prejudging, I knew I wasn't going to place in bodybuilding. So then I did that. I relaxed for a little bit. I think uh, the women's uh, figure went on next, and then classic physique went on after that. So then I had to get re-pumped up, I had to eat more carbs, I had to get another pump, and then I went in for the open for the classic. I did a lot better in the classic. I actually looked like I belonged in the classic physique, which was cool. The guy that won the classic physique open, great physique. To be honest with you though, for pre-judging it sucked. My pro tan was too light. Like literally, I was too light. The lights were like, washing me out. I put on six layers of protein. So after pre-judging, I felt good. Um, I stayed for the pretty much the whole show. After that, I went for the whole NPC show. After that, I went and I had actually 
um, a steak and potatoes. Actually, that night I washed off my my uh, pro tan. I went and got a spray tan because I had to get darker. You have to make sure uh, it's like a special spray tan. It has bronzer in it, and it actually darkens over time. The next day I woke up, I was even drier. So I honestly probably weighed. Sunday morning, I probably weighed 188, 189. Sunday for finals, they had the classic physique go first. So I had to like quickly carb up, get a pump. We did our routine, so I did my routine in classic. Bodybuilding, I didn't even make, I didn't even get into the finals because they only picked the top five for the I've finals. I've been classes for uh, physique and for so, classic and... So my class in physique, there was 11 competitors. That's okay. And then there's three different classes and I all of them had about 10 competitors in them. Bodybuilding, there was more like seven or eight. No, no, so the, there was 10, there was 10 heavyweights, um, and then there was like two super heavyweights. Okay. So bodybuilding, there's not that much. Um, so no, light, no lightweights, no middleweights? Nothing. So pretty much everyone that does light heavyweight, lightweight, middleweight is in classic physique. That's kind of how the NPC works out. Now that I know that, I shouldn't have just. I should have done bodybuilding. Honestly, guys, I got six in classic physique. It's about it's about the halfway point. Is what yeah. You got. Okay, guys. So post show, well, they had a dessert bar at the show, so you already know I jumped on that. <laughs> then I went to In and Out, got two four by fours, straight animal style fries. Weak. I would got like at least four of those things. Dude, dieting for eight. Legit, like, guys, I ate all that food and I legit my stomach. I thought it ripped. Like, you could have like, laying. You could have done better. Eight weeks. That means eight four by fours. All right. Woke up in the morning. We had buffet breakfast at the hotel. So you already know I hit the pancakes hard. I had about six pancakes, five eggs, bacon, sausage, and then so I left that morning to go back to Albuquerque, and I do. I was pounding candy the whole time. My team, Team Dark Horse, got me a bag of candy for post show. I literally like stopped halfway through. I had like peanut butter. I was just eating it out of the jar. Next day, I ate. What day is this? What this? Is, so this is Tuesday right now. I ate like you know I ate like clean throughout the day. Then I went and ate. Wait, what was your weight at the beginning of this day right here? Oh, it's two hundred three. Okay, and you were what day? Uh, like on the beginning of the oh, show? I was what one one ninety one eighty. No, I was like one eighty nine. So. One eighty nine. Okay, the two hundred three. So so in 14 that, pounds. That's literally in two days. In two days. Two days I gained 14 pounds. Okay. So then Tuesday, I ate clean throughout the day. I was like, yo, yeah, okay, wait, why are you eating clean? Like what Because did you I was gonna order a large Dion's meat lover pizza and try and eat it all. I ate nine slices, guys. No, I might have ate eleven. Cause Ian had three slices. I gave two to Krista. Ten. So I ate eleven slices of pizza, guys. I thought I was gonna die. I have not eaten that much dairy in like five months. And then after bomb, that, man. I went home and I literally ate 2,000 calories worth of candy. I was just eating, just to eat. Woke up Wednesday morning, I was 208. <laughs> I was 201 Tuesday morning. Wednesday morning, I was 208. That's how you guys gain weight for all you uh, ectomorphs, hard gainers. Do a show and then gain just uh, basically starve yourself and uh, then eat. And guys, it all went right here. Like, oh, dude. Like, I'm legit, like, bloated. Like, if you see that. Guys, I gained, like, I can feel the fat I gained. Look at the, like, go back to one of our old videos and, like, look at, uh, look at him right before the competition when he's posing in his little, uh, posing suit. Oh. Okay, and I look at that now. Like, he doesn't want to show you the whole thing. He still got some vascularity there, but uh. Oh, you know, well, yeah, this 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 goes away at like 20% body fat, but honestly, guys, I probably gained. And you, it's so quick. I didn't realize how quick it was. Because your body's like, carb sensitive yeah. and like. Like, you're, because, well, you gotta think, you're starving your body. Your body's in starvation mode. You limit its calories. You're pretty much eating all this protein to keep your muscle mass. And then you give it fat, carbs, sugar, all the good. Your body's just like I'm making fat. I'm gonna. I need to live. Creates fat. So that's what happens. But his body right now probably is an optimal. Well, if you would have taken a little slower, is in basically like perfect shape to put on muscle mass. Yeah. Because it was in such a depleted state. Now it just wants to. It wants the nutrients and it can add it to make. Yeah. Make so muscle. I've actually noticed now that my muscles are filling up with glycogen, my muscles are way harder. I can put, I'm, I'm feeling the strength coming back already. And it's only been like a week, so like. Yeah, a week, and I've been taking it easy at the gym, you know, and 
So the next few weeks, I'm gonna increase the weight steadily, and then after about four weeks, we're really gonna hit a new program, and we're gonna be showing that in a new video. Yeah, we're gonna try to do a new uh, like little program thing going on after my competition. Yeah, after his comp, but I'll be I'll be in straight bulk mode by the time he gets done. Okay, so last thing though, okay? So you just competed. Everybody wants to know what are your plans for the next show. Are you going to be uh, eating ramen or uh, ramen noodles and tuna? Or are you gonna be eating on that? Guys, I am chicken not, and I'm rice. not gonna be eating ramen noodles and tuna. I'm gonna be following. If with you Max. know what that means. Yeah, if you hint, hint, wink, wink. 50 milligrams of tuna, 100 milligrams of ramen. So realistically, guys, I'm gonna just keep following my macros. I ain't gonna be eating no ramen and tuna. I'm honestly, what I would say is I'm going the natty route. Natty. Okay. What does the quotation natty mean? Does that mean half natty or does that mean natty natty? Well, I was half natty, now I'm actually full natty. Okay, you're gonna go full natty. I'm gonna go full uh, natty. No uh, cutting agents, no bulking agents. No nothing. Uh, uh, I'm gonna do it all natural. The, the most hardcore I'll go is probably some creatine. I mean, God forbid. Guys, oh, no. creatine's on a steroid. If you think that, you need to fucking educate yourself. Or you just need to eat yourself some more steak. <laughs> right? Um, realistically though, I, I'm really thinking about competing in a different federation. Let's just put it that. That'll be for a new video another time, but I doubt I'm gonna do NPC again. And I will, and the only time I will ever do NPC again is if I'm on that tuna and ramen. So that being said, I'm out. Cool. Hey, we got a good thing. Don't know if I'ma see you again.